Okay. Listen, I honestly can't believe. Okay. I was on Twitter and I came across a post, and it's and I'm gonna we're gonna investigate this further. But it felt like there was a bit of a almost. justification of what Hitler did to gay people. I know that sounds weird, but let's let's just uh, l- let me just investigate this. Degenerates drag kids degenerates drag kids to bar for a drag show. Okay. I know there's a lot of uh, controversy too. <laughs> there's a lot of controversy around this issue. I understand the uncomfortable nature of it, so I get it. But let's see what this is. Before we move on to uh, the drag show. And by the way, to people who complain like, why are you addressing this or stuff going, there is nothing more important to Western civilization than the idea of mothers, fathers, husbands, and wives in the nuclear family. And if you... Uh, maybe. That might be true-ish. A strong family unit is very powerful. But what he was referencing there when he's like, why are you talking about that? He was probably referencing the fact that like kids died in Uvalde. And it's not like we're talking about both of these. It's that the drag kids has completely taken over the discourse and it's being kind of almost used as like a, a, a an excuse not to talk about actual gun legislation and control. So that's where that comes from. You don't see how how dramatically insane it's become that we are now taking children to cross-dressing strip shows. If you don't see that as teetering on the edge of losing civilization, then you and I Well, it wasn't a strip show. Like let's if we're going to let's call a spade a spade. Like it was a drag show at a nightclub and that's the really inappropriate part. The conversation about whether you should or shouldn't bring your kids to drag, I don't really think you should. It makes me uncomfortable. But like, then you also like, well, what about RuPaul's Drag Race? Should I not let my kid watch that? I don't know. You know, kids are impressionable, so they might be like, that's cool. I want to do that. Sure, but I think we should keep the same energy with like cheerleading, maybe, or at the very least, like, um, because cheerleading is very sexualized, and you're teaching like young girls to like sexualize themselves. It is even in schools. The fucking outfits they put on these kids is disgusting, and even some of these like, uh, what do they call beauty pageants? Very toxic. We should be keeping similar energy with these other things, and it feels like we have a disproportionate amount of energy here. And I, and, and it, you know, I wonder why. You know? I just disagree. Yeah. So don't ask me to stop covering. I'm, I'm not. No. I think never. teetering is a nice word. Yes. Yes. If you think it's, I think it's well past. Yes. <laughs> Puttering. <laughs> yes. Uh, so before that, though, something that actually this country, you know, when it's a great. I mean, I don't want to say once was great. It's still a great country. Yeah. And it'll be great again, you know, after the midterms and hopefully 2024. Uh, but uh, you think that RuPaul's Drag Race can be very inappropriate? What do you mean because it's in drag or because they get a little sexualized? Because I feel like a lot of sexualized nature is kind of invading a lot of our society. I was in the mall. I'm not the mall. Excuse me. I was in the, sh- the grocery store yesterday. And um, it was so weird. They get raunchy. They Yeah, I feel that. There was this song in there. I forget the song, but it was a song about a girl getting fucked. But it was like it was hidden fairly well, and it's like, God damn, everything is about getting fucked now. I mean, if you look at it, the the people that the 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 drag stars, I guess you call them, were impersonating were like Dua Lipa and like Ariana Grande, and it's like they're impersonating them, and then they're doing the same things that those people do on stage while dancing to their music, and it's like, mm, you know, maybe going to like these concerts could be considered a little bit, uh, you know, inappropriate if you have your fourteen year old girl to go to an Ariana Grande concert and she's like pretend to fuck someone on stage or something or doing like a weird dance move, you know what I mean, like a sexualized outfit or doing a weird dance, you know, it's 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 the, it's a conversation to have, you know. June 6, 1944, Allied forces, of course, uh, stormed the beaches of Normandy, and uh, that was one of the most important moments of World War II. I think we have a clip here. Uh, I think that was the Canadians that were walking ashore unmolested. No, 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 that was Juno Beach. This is far more uh, chaotic. <laughs> what is happening? We've all seen Saving Private Ryan. Ryan. It's not quite, Ryan. I'm trying to raise my microphone here while we're doing this yeah. during this very sincere moment. Well, and it's the anniversary of this today. 1,465 Americans were killed, and overall, 416,000. Yeah, how, do, how does this relate? Like, why, why, are, what's the point? What is, what are we showing here? Were killed in World War II in general, right? So that's crazy. That's, that's, I didn't know it was that high. I, I knew the number was in the hundreds of thousands. I didn't, did I, did I, did I did, did, what, I'm just confused how the two of these correlate. No, it was over 400,000 that were killed. And by the way, if, if any of us could have gone back to that day, can you imagine, like, put yourself in Saving Private Ryan, you're standing next to Tom Hanks, and you're like, all right, everybody's nervous, they're throwing up, and you show them a cell phone, like, man, I really appreciate what you're fighting for today. By the way, in June of 2022, they're going to be doing this, and you show, like, the kid drag queen thing, like, well, don't, you know, just, you could have said this, and we can go to the clip. Well, then we're on the wrong side of things. They would have been yeah. like, turn the boat around. They were like, oh my gosh, oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I don't like, stop the f- okay, so there's something, okay, I guess I see the comparison now. 
fight. Right. <laughs> Look at they this, guys. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't believe in everything, but mostly they were right. I guess the best argument is, is like, there's a difference between having RuPaul's Drag Race on TV, where your parents are responsible for you not watching it, versus a drag event that's exclusively for children. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, they're like, so look, okay, Pearl Harbor, that one's on you, yeah. but uh, there's the Bay Area over there. Yeah, this is uh... <laughs> take, take that area. Leave we were blaming the Jews. What? That was our fault all along. I can't believe that. We this said it was the us. Jews, but this is actually like really severe. Like I made up the things about the Jews. You're actually doing this. <laughs> You're actually having five-year-olds hand dollar bills into your panties and your uh, guys in? Yeah. Uh, release the Jews and apologize. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is too much. They make the Jews sign a treaty like, okay, listen, we will release you on the terms that you are now the uh, Gestapo for all the drag events. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the, the earnest parts where he's like, you better invent like a better light bulb. What the fuck is this? this is, <laughs> what? Like, I know that there's this is an attempt at humor, but this is just not funny. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even offended. It's just not funny. I don't know what the fuck is happening. Or something like that. He's like, he better make sure that the, the trans community can go out and have kids walk the stage with him. You better do something like yeah, that. Yeah, Hitler's just sacrifice. like, oh, what is this decadent lifestyle? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to paint it. And everyone's like, that's terrible. He's like, what is that? Post-surrealism? He's like, no, this is real. It's happening. No, it comes, it becomes this. Look, I, I... What's the difference between drag queens and the doodle bops? What do you mean? How do, what, what do you mean, what's the difference? What's what are you talking about? The doodle bops? They don't look. What the fuck are you talking about? They don't look anything. I think that they're more clothed would be the argument, and there's probably less sexualized content. That was a weird question. Um, what the fuck? All right, we're getting we're going down the doodle bob rabbit hole now. Dressed like this, just in drag. Well, like, Hitler was in part a response to this kind of culture developing in Germany. Incredible. That's the that's the that's the clip. That's the one. The rest of the video was cringe, but I was like, whatever, you know, pretty typical, you know, whatever. It's fine. But that, what is incredible? Do you know how that sounds? Yeah, well, you know, Hitler. Some of he was kind of right. That's what it's. That's what this sounds like. It just it seems like maybe not the right thing to say. Okay, because now you're telling, because you're telling us, uh, listen, the reason that Hitler was able to do what he did is because of like there was a huge issue in um, like a financial issue where people didn't know who to turn to. And Hitler was able to weaponize that and turn it into it's the Jews fault. That's basically what happened. But this, what are you talking about? What the fuck? I would just, I mean, I personally, why, why say that? And then also, why leave that in a clip? Now let's be clear. Let's of course, no Hitler. one is defending <laughs> Hitler or saying that he's terrible. The only okay. <laughs> at least Steven Crowder knew well enough to be like, "No, wait, chill the fuck out." Because I actually looked into it, and like, so this is a really big problem with what this guy said. Look, you look at his face. He's like upset. He's like, "No, wait, Hitler was bad." It's like you know, what I looked into it is like this type of culture or this type of cult, like that doesn't really substantiate. So there's a very big like back then. It was just like gay people existing. That was it. Like that was what's. There wasn't like anything close to how we've progressed. You would make the art that you would make the argument of like, oh, you know, okay, I get it. Gay people should be able to get married and whatnot. But the drag shows way too far. Okay, fair take. The thing here though is that like gay people wanted to get married and they were like, no, that's bad. You're bad for being gay, and they would they would they would fucking persecute gay people. <laughs> So, like, what you're saying to an extent is that, like, yeah, all the gay shit's bad. That's not, uh, that's not, that's not it. You just, that was very homophobic. You, as people would say, a little bit suspicious, okay? Because it wasn't like there's, like, yeah, there's fucking kids dressing in drag. It's just horrible. We got to kill Jewish people. They were, he, he's like, yeah, it's kind of like the culture. You mean gay people existing? Yeah, it's terrible. Like, if you can't differentiate gay people wanting to get married and, like, drag shows, you're probably not the person to have this conversation. At all. Only point that I'm we are that he would jump on board with it because he's an awful. He's yes. an awful yes. human being. Probably the worst in human history. He would have been a Agreed? self... Yes. Probably. Maybe. Seemed like a nice guy. Personally, might have been decent. Hitler would have been a self-loathing yes. drag dancer with okay. children. That's what we yeah. are saying. So, if <laughs> I like how Crowd had to take that away from, like, Hitler was the good guy to Hitler's the bad guy, but also in drag. <laughs> oh my god if anyone yes. here is so really if anyone here is more like hitler 
most like Hitler, one could argue, it's these people abusing children. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'd call it abuse. I mean, I'd say I'd probably inappropriate. But either way, I don't see that. I don't know what the what line you're drawing there. Are you saying that they're indoctrinating children into the LGBTQ in the same way that Hitler indoctrinated children into the army? I don't really know what your comparison here is. What? Yeah, and like this is one of those weird things. First of all, why are you taking your kid here? Second of all, look at this sign. That's inappropriate. But lastly, this person is dressed up, I think, like Dua Lipa. This is what Dua Lipa does on stage. Like, that's inappropriate in general. If you think it's inappropriate at a drag club, you have to think it's inappropriate on stage as well. You know what I mean? This I don't think is super problem. The dancing in and of itself, I don't think is an issue to me. Yeah, I mean, it's not that bad when you look at it. It's weird. I think it's kind of weird. I think that there's a difference between taking your kid to a drag show and like trying to make your kid. It's so weird because I feel like if I was young going to a drag show, I would just be uncomfortable and like weirded out. I don't think it would like I don't think seeing a drag was going, oh, my God. And you start morphing into like a gay person that loves drag. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's more like it's different than that. You'd have to be really invested and involved into that. Um, I guess that would be your comparison. I still wouldn't take my kid to a drag show. I can see why maybe it's confusing. But do you think those kids even know that they're not women? I don't know. I, I don't know. There's a lot of questions to ask, you know. Now, to be clear, because right now, you know, you have uh, this petition for discovery against Daniel Defense regarding the Uvalde shooting, you know, the manufacturer of a gun. Yeah, it's more than saying it could have been advertised to children. This was advertised directly to children. Yes. You know, this event. Hmm. It says the ultimate family. Well, it wasn't really advertised to children. It was advertised to the parents of children <laughs> about taking their kids abroad. Friendly pride experience fit for guests of all ages. Really? I don't know. I mean, could you? Did, can Milton Bradley argue that they have a trademark on that and just sue them? <laughs> I think Suitable so. for all ages. It's called drag the kids to pride. Yes, yeah. you would have to drag them there. There's no reason they would want to go there on their own. Oh, drag me to hell. You want to go play catch? Totally different meaning. Yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, it's like a get. I'll get it. Okay. And the cats and the... Tr- nope, <laughs> no, I was about no, to say no. a word that I can't say. Yeah, I can't say that. And the cats and the transgenders and the silver spoon. I was going to say something homophobic. Little along. boy or in the transfer. bathroom. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Son's not coming home, and we both know why I'm a bad father. (laughs) (laughs) Because he's no longer a guy. Yeah. A family friendly experience. Yeah, one of the su- family friendly. One of the signs there read, uh, "It's not going to lick itself." Oh god. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I'm no take my son to the be... balls game. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't even know if I want to watch any more of this. Uh, frankly, because I'm just not. It's just so fucking boring in general. You know, there's a good argument or a conversation to have about not bringing your kid to, to pride. Totally get that. I think that's totally fine. But this, like, this is a problem with, with, yeah, this is a problem with like Steven Crowder is it doesn't matter what the anti-trans take is. He's always going to go with it. So nothing he's saying is genuine. Like they don't care about trans people and they probably don't even give a shit about gay pride or excuse me. They don't care about like gay people even getting married. Like if it was up to them, they're like, yeah, gays shouldn't get married. And this is the problem is, is like, there's never, like, it's one of those times where like a, a, a broken clock is right twice a day. Of course you're going to be like, yeah, of course you have a really solid argument to not bring your kids to drag. Um, but like, it's not because you are critically engaging in the content. It's because you are just hate trans people and anything they do is wrong. And if it makes you uncomfortable, it's wrong. Right. And so you might be right. I think there's a conversation to have that I tend to lean with to an extent. I think it's inappropriate to your kid to a, dra- a, a drag show, but there's no critical engagement with this so it's not like genuine if that makes sense it's just anything at the sake of like trans people and frankly the jokes are boring it's not for me it's dumb as shit um you know it sounded like they're they're talking about the boy not coming out of the bathroom it sounded like they're trying to go with some kind of like a you know pedophile aspect there that like gay people are pedophiles and shit um it's just a gross it's just a gross fucking video it's it's not worth watching anymore so Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. (laughs) Uh, Or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.